Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> uh, well, I hope that was the right way, but whatever. You guys get it. Turn that frown up freaking upside down, dudes. Quit being so glum, right, babe? <laughs> We're really talking to ourselves, but if it applies, then apply it, right, babe? We're cleaning house. You guys are here to watch us clean the house. You lucky devils. Yeah, but they're lucky when they get to be with you taking a shower. Well, of course. So I found a whole bunch of clothes on the side of the road, dragged them home in two trips, two walking trips, with my sweetheart's help and hand washed all of them and hung them out to dry. There's still more in the bathtub that has to be hung, that have to be hung. How they hang in light poppin'. And then I'm separating them out into groups. One is for my shop, which isn't my shop, it's a friend of mine's shop, where I'll be selling some of it, the best pieces. A big stack is for the hospital, and then the other smaller stack is for the clubhouse. The hospital where the behavioral health wing where the wacky the wacky wing where i stayed i'm donating books magazine and, and magazines and clothes because they helped me with all those things plus they threw in a towel and a washcloth so Not sure they knew they threw in the towel and the washcloth, but anyway, they did. Thank you for that, and uh, so I'll be giving you guys back tons of clothes, nice, I hope really nice clothes and books and magazines, so. Turnabout's fair play, I'll give you guys stuff back. Like, this doesn't fit us, I don't think this fits us. No, these are way too big for us, but they're, uh, Cambridge Classics, I mean, pretty freaking nice for somebody who fits in them. That's an example of a big old mountain of clothes that I got for the hospital. The hospital. The hospital. So anyway, there's a Oh, a long sleeve t-shirt I'll give to the hospital too because I have tons of stuff like that but it's still I, I culled through all of it and picked out what I want this sweater I got from my sales it's a uh... can you guys tell what that is I'm not talking about my nose I'm talking about the tag well whatever it's a nice brand, I know that. Well, yeah, turn that frown upside down, dudes. I'm here to fucking cheer your ass up because I need to be cheered up, I guess. So, all is not lost. That's what it means to re turn your frown upside down. You guys know that means it's supposed to turn to a smile. Showing sure up, White Papa. If I coin my smile upside down, I'll be flying. But because I'm happy, White Papa. Yeah, baby. I'm happy. I uh, I just had some uh, damn near lancid uh, yogurt with some uh, granola on it, and it was pretty good. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm happy. I'm grateful for what I got. Good. That's good. So am I. I've gotten a major influx of gifts from the universe. Really have. That's nothing new, but I have. I got a bunch of stuff given to me from my insurance again. It's like this, reframing. I hate that word, but if you put a frame on something. If you 
put a frame on something. Okay. And then you don't like the way that frame frames it. Then reframe it. There. You reframe it like that and you got a new hat. Excellent. See? I like the idea of reframing. I hate the expression. But what is our show about, huh? What's one way that you could express to explain our show, especially with regards to camera work? Perspective. It's about pers different perspectives, right? Well, I, I didn't expect you to know the answer necessarily off the top of your head. I already thought about the answer, so. But it's about various perspectives. You know, seeing things from perspectives that are not g generally shown in film. Sometimes they are. Like having the camera upside down is becoming more and more popular, but showing the tip of our nose when we're talking isn't at all done in film. I mean, maybe it is, but I'm not seeing it. Or just having the top of our head or from here up or our necks only or the bottoms of our feet. We haven't done that one yet, but we'll do it next. It's to show us ourselves new ways of looking at the world. And when everything goes so wrong, as seemingly wrong as has gone, has, 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 has happened lately, with me going off the deep end and kind of sabotaging everything that I've been working to build. I didn't do it on purpose, dudes. I mean, it's a mental illness, but with sabotaging it all, there is another way of looking at it, not as sabotage, but as building something even bigger. Does that make sense to you, babe? It makes perfect sense to my sweetheart that it's actually building something bigger when you try to build a house and you build that we like to we love grand designs with Kevin McLeod. Can we do a shout out to Kevin McLeod? I'm over here. If Papa wants to, he can. If not, you can, okay? And I'll try to help you. Okay, I'll point. Okay, well, I'll do the pointing for all of us. Okay, ready? Here we go. Yo, Kevin McLeod, we love you from Grand Designs. We love you so much. And in the show we watched last night, an older one, the kid, Joe, who was building the house, his uh, subcontractor or contractor, his basement contractor got fired. He hate that part, but, uh, for really fucking up the basement. And so, I don't know if they ended up building something bigger out of that. So that kind of like doesn't work for my analogy. But like if you're building a house and you build a basement and the basement gets all screwed up, you might end up having to, they couldn't in this situation, but have a bigger footprint which is contrary to <laughs> sustainability, but go with the analogy. I'm trying to tell you guys something here. Fuck sustainability. Fuck sustainability. Go dig in the trash and save a bunch of stuff. And then build a bigger house, especially here in Santa Fe, but because they got us squeezed in like fucking sardines. That's not sustainability. That's damn unhealthy. So if your damn house falls down, okay, your whole house caves in, which I hope doesn't happen, then you just go back and build a bigger house out of the rubble that you had all fucking fall down on you, okay? That's what I'm talking about. It's simple. It's not easy to do, but it's a simple concept, right, babe? Yeah. So turn that frown upside down, dudes. And I'm really talking to myself. 
because I'm discouraged in some ways in that a lot of losses have come through this process, at least temporarily. And I have to look at it if I want to be healthy, if I want to be happy, if I want to keep going as these losses are temporary, the long-term gains are huge. The long-term gains are huge. I don't have to see or understand the long-term gains. I just have to remember that that's what this is about. Because the universe isn't trying to destroy our project. It's trying to make it succeed. And if a crazy person starts going crazy, it can bring fame. It can bring fortune. It can be bring destruction too. And we're not wanting destruction. We've said that a million times. We're trying to make this actually happen. So we've got to look at it as building something bigger than... Uh, English muffins. Um, building something bigger than what we had in mind before or that it's the process for getting to where we want to go. And the universe agreed because I turned the knob at the right time. In other words, you agree. Okay, here's your English muffin, babe. <coughs> Would you mind just leaving it in the toaster oven? I don't know how I have it. Okay, I'll put it on the pan, on that, the bolt, that, on the plate. That's perfect. I'm not going to put salt and stuff on yours. You, you can do that this time. So I ended up uh, doing something that I've not done in a long time, and that is uh, not paying my bills at the beginning of the month. And now my phone is actually shut off for the first time in a long time. Like a long time. It's the phone that never sleeps. Mm-hmm. It's the phone that never sleeps, my sweet heart. Sweet soul. Sweet but sweet baby said. Having a different perspective from the people who have abandoned us and if you all who have abandoned us which, if you're watching, you haven't abandoned us completely or anything. Um, look at it like this. You, it's your attitude, too. It's your attitude, too. It's our attitude about our lives. And it's your attitude about how you see us. And it's pretty easy to kind of remedy it because it was me being a total nut job having psychosis. Dudes. That's why they call it psychosis. Wait. <laughs> Wait come on. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would like to think that if somebody got sick all over you, vomited all over you, it might make you unhappy for a minute, but you'd understand why. Or if somebody, you know, fell down at a business meeting and had a seizure, you wouldn't charge them with fucking disruption. You would say... Wow, I am so sorry that you ended up in the hospital after your seizure. Let's help you. Let's come together to help you. Maybe you are, I don't know. But it's hard to tell because it feels different to me. You know? And that's where it's my job to look at it differently. But what, honey? doesn't really fit with the conversation 
Maybe oh, it's just because I'm in a grouchy mood, but I thought I'm trying to think outside my usual box, and I thought that's cool. If I was a boss, yeah, that's exactly what I'd do. If I was having a dim meeting with important associates from overseas, and you had a seizure in the middle of my meeting, not only would I fire you, but I would find a way to like. Yeah, to so, like get back some of the money that I paid you because you just cost me and you're a damn liability. Well, and, I get it. I get and, it. And that's I. I'm never. Gonna I think be that's that guy that does. Well, that. nobody is. That's that's the boss from a. That's the evil boss from a movie. That's yeah, evil, that's true. Nobody's that's like evil, that. But, Thank but, but I thought, well, if you're gonna, why not? I mean, why not go for the. the uh, most villainous route. Yeah, or the, the most, most the most route. profound the character, control, even if even if the character is a caricature. Because we're really see, we're not going to do that because we are more the rock star caricature. Yeah, we are. Everybody's a caricature, and we're saying go for the most extreme ones. If you're going to be an evil boss, be a really evil boss. Yeah. You know, be a like, like be like Cruella de Vil. You know, boss. but. Uh, but, but don't. What I think the whole point, of course, of is don't be a. No, and like you said, nobody's that way. Nobody is that way. And I'm glad. And here's the thing: okay. if somebody, if we are the bosses, if we are the, like, and we are. I mean, like, if we hire staff, they have to be as resilient as we are, or at least damn close to it. And that's saying something, right? Like our personal assistant. This is kind of a Trump. I'm sorry. I just thought of Trump for a second. Because he's um, resilient. Well, so. no, because he's uh, he is, he's a good yeah. example of the villainous boss. Yeah, yeah, he takes it about as far as you can go. You know, it's like larger than he larger does. than life. You know, and that's what we are. Yeah, that's but we're not, not Trump. We're not, but we're not Trump. That's true. And, Thank goodness. Uh, but you know, he's just—he's just one example of that. Uh, you know, that's you know, take it to the extreme. To yeah, to kind of to the take it to the edge, to, to the, the limit, limit, to the, <laughs> go a little one bit more beyond. Time. Uh, so, which means I should be—I should be wearing my rock star glasses right now, and my here they are. Well, yeah. Cause you know it's hell yeah. People, people. That's what they expect is that like well, rock stars when they're hanging out at home, they wear their rock star glasses in I'm the living room, and, and they I wear cool clothes should, like we do. You know, if we were gonna, we're not your typical rock stars. We should probably have like, I'm sorry, but lines of cocaine cut out on a mirror in the background, <laughs> and we should have like. No, we should. Uh, <laughs> See, we're not. We're like, okay. No, I'm not saying, uh, like, whatever. We've, we've, okay you, you it. name it. We've been there. We've done it all. So we're done. We don't have to like yeah, prove anything do about our right rock star right. status Watch at this point. Stuff. But uh, Watch us popping pills and <laughs> yeah, you know, like maybe, maybe, beer, maybe, arguably driving recklessly. And I don't know. And, uh, you know it's like a, and you know, yeah, uh, and smoke a pot. You know, a little fisty cuffs. There's likely to be some fisty cuffs. You know, I don't know who's, but it's likely to be there. It's like you want a TV getting thrown out a window. It's likely to be there. I don't know. TV out of the window. Yeah, that's right. It was awesome to a TV out of the window awesome. of the montage. Well, my baby, start talking about turning your frown upside down. And then she, you know, because she, she's talking to herself and she's talking to us, you know, and then she's hey, talking to you guys, to myself, so but, uh, but she's doing it. She's cheering you guys up but to cheer her up and to cheer me up and to cheer up the world and Hell yeah. I, I, and it's contagious. She got and me. And we don't want to make everybody it. out to be a dang villain, no. but believe in us is the yeah. fucking point. And realize really, yeah. you're not going to punish nice. somebody who has a seizure be nice. for having a seizure. No, be nice. You're yeah. going to nice. help them. Yeah.
but what does help look like? You know, you're probably not going to go and go into their hospital room in the ER and say, here, you need to do this and this and this and this and this and this and this while you're here at the ER. No, you do need to take a break. We want to give you a break. Okay. But do it with genuine love. Not making it feel like a fucking punishment. Yeah. And you might even say, we love you. That's one good way of doing it. I tell people, honey, that I love them. I do. Not just my family. I tell my uh, professional cohorts. Is it cohort or cohorts? Uh, is it one or more than one? Well, it's what? The cohort. Well, is a cohort plural or singular? Yes. One cohort is a cohort. Two cohorts are cohorts. <laughs> so I think a cohort is a plural of a bunch of cohorts. Not a co bunch of cohorts, a bunch of people. And then if you have a lot of cohorts... <laughs> That's groups, a lot of groups. We make a cream for that. Yeah. <laughs> you probably have a surgery for it. Yeah. And that might be what's happening as I'm getting a surgery off my, getting something cut off my butt that needs to go, but I'm like not into having it removed. It's part of my butt. Outbreak of cohorts. We have to do something about it. Hopefully, stat. <laughs> ah, stat. But we love our cohort. I love my cohort, and I love my cohorts. I love each individual in my cohort, and I love the actual whole cohort, and I love all my cohorts, meaning all the individuals within all my cohorts. If I'm right about plural and singular on cohort, <laughs> co <laughs> well, cohort, don't give up your dreams just because it looks fucking bizarre. If you give up that easy, you're never gonna make it, man. One thing me and my baby have learned through this is rise up out of the ashes. Rise up out of the ashes. Throw your back out, but rise up out of the ashes. Yeah, well, you know, when you're in the fucking ashes, what are you gonna do? You're gonna fucking lie around in the ashes like a fucking well, pile of ashes for a while, and eventually you're gonna say, "Whoa, well, fuck!" Minute. Now I'm gonna, you know. And then sooner or later, what are you gonna do? You're then gonna you rise up. up. You're gonna rise up. You're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna. And you're gonna have to believe in your own dreams. And then later, you can work on things. I'm talking like, to myself. Not actually, and ride a bucking bronco getting, if you have like, to. Whip it, whip it good. Not getting all charred out in the first place, you know. Like that's the best. Taking idea. it easy and just like kind of stay. But if it happens, then like, it happens. And uh, that's well, yeah, point. that's that's the point. I hate that's the, the point because I didn't want nothing. Well, to you know, it's not a bad point, but it's also it's kind of like right up it's there a with point. Nobody when wants you shit to go around. when you need hope you need hope you know we have hope we are yeah. hope yeah. we are living breathing uh, hope we go into the uh, ashes yeah, and we so rise up again let's so, do it it's, you know there's there's you know it's positive you need it's to set like, your coffee it, down it, to do it, it here right here okay okay yeah. what are we doing we're plummeting into the ashes and rising okay. up plummet crash and we rise up we don't even stay down too long we have to bounce back but if we stay down a minute, because it hurts. Ow! Ow! Yeah. Ow! Yeah. Ow! 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 Yeah. Somebody just stepped on me now. Yeah, let's help you up there. I mean, what we oh, oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, My baby did yeah, help yeah. me up. Oh. Oh, oh, wait a second. Here is it. Oh. oh! There, she helped me. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we there she is. And our cohort, <laughs> a lot of my cohort has been grabbing my hands with likes on Facebook, mm. hearts and uh. little notes on Facebook comments, and lifting me up back up again and going, yeah, you lost your damn mind. Some don't maybe know all the details because they have two pages. But yeah, you lost your fucking mind. 
yourself admittedly. And we're going to help your ass up by giving you a like here and there. Thank you. And I got to tell you, you're not supposed to care about your likes and shit, but I do. All three of my likes, they just buoy me up through life and uh, carry me. They carry me. I don't know. Do you think people are scared to be associated with this at all? I actually do. Yeah. I think so. Some so. more than others. Yeah. And some, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think, is there anybody who's So like thank you for scared? the people who are willing to broach us. There's a couple people. Maybe maybe there's a couple people that are not scared. Tom. But, but that are Tom's also... Not. I don't know, maybe they not. They get it, though. Maybe not all here. You know? Well, they're not all ah, here, but no, they, they've been, up, yeah, but they've been but through like, the rodeo so many yeah, times, they know I we're resilient not. and that we will yeah, rise again. Yeah, there's people that look at us and because they wouldn't, because it's like, wow, just yeah. to watch us, it seems dangerous to them. Yeah, like, oh it's God. dangerous. But then there's a couple people that we know that are like, well, that are, that are maybe no stranger to danger themselves stranger uh, than danger, but maybe. and i don't know if that's tom necessarily he doesn't seem like no, a living on the edge kind of guy exactly but willing he's kind to of stay far in out. a stable place yeah and go along with us on our crazy fucking ride right and try to bring stability to us he's not literally willing to get into our car and do that no because, he got into our car and well he did Elliot one time down yeah. to canyon road well actually yeah and we actually we picked him but up we didn't the airport film once it. And he got into the car, which is crazy. Because, oh yeah, boy, we were crazy. He, he I was, was wasted. Crazy. I was. Well, I was probably yeah, a little. I had to go into the airport to find him, but I was covered with paint, and I probably yeah. We filmed a lot of that. Oh, you did, I don't, babe. I don't, I don't, and you got lost. I don't lost know how well I was walking in a straight line, really, you but. Were. <laughs> he was I don't know there. why we let me go in there in the first place. Because <laughs> I think I had to stay at the car. Yeah. Mm, I'll, go, I'll go in. Well, anyway. But, it so, all worked out. Like, so. uh, having a personal assistant, what will they have to do? They'll have to be resilient. They'll have to love us and trust us unconditionally, basically. That's pretty hard to... <laughs> that's at the high up mm. of their deal. Their... What mm. is it? their job description mm -hmm. love and trust us unconditionally if you don't get paid this week after you did 10 hours of work suffer a minute yeah. and then the next week or month or yeah. a couple months later you'll get paid and more because you waited right yeah and you can be mad and you can be pissed but you have to stick with us and you can even tell us you're pissed and we'll say, we're sorry, we do, or we'll say, fuck you, or whatever we do. We say, I don't know what we're going to say. I'm trying to think of who I know that would do this in a million I do. years. I don't know. Karina Henley. Okay. Yeah, the, our mm. personal assistant. Okay. She's actually already the, been our personal assistant. Well. Yeah. God's she's just not getting she's, paid she's for it, and God's she's not work. doing she all, the, is, yeah, all is, of it. Uh, She's liking our stuff. That's yeah. a personal assistant. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Come on, let's do a uh, shout out to Karina Henley for. Okay. Okay. Yo, Yo Karina, Karina Henley for our, loving our stuff, liking you. our stuff, just being there, watching over us, protecting us. Yeah. That's the other part of your job description is, you know, protecting, protecting from us themselves. from yeah. ourselves, protecting our reputation. Or mitigating it, or like, what do they call it? Damage control. <laughs> damage control. Damage control. No, 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 you don't have to do damage no, control. No, of course you won't. Okay, man. let's get honest. Yeah, let's be honest. Uh, like we can be honest, and then then she can make a a, a decision. A uh, a uh, 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 decision so, from uh, based from knowledge. Is this like, also gonna, we, we have the to information. Include. Would we have to include PR person in her job description? Yes, absolutely. Okay. That's what I mean uh, by damage control. Hey, that's cool. And toilet cleaner. That they means have to be toilet cleaner, dog after we do something wiper. stupid. They have to be dog We don't wiper, have to go on and do a clip like trying to like explain cleaner. ourselves or make but up for anything. But everything they do, they're going to get paid. She can do it. She can come out to a an podium. Hour to do. Yeah. And, and, oh, hell yeah. And uh, say, uh, here's She's what happened. She's very are there any questions? And then, and then, if there are questions, she could either take them or she just, or just kind of pretend she didn't 
uh, just dismiss it and yeah, walk I'll out. Yeah, just answer a different question. And, and, and that's easy. That, that that's yeah. easy. But just we don't have ask, to do it. That's easy for us. They ask, are uh, is are your uh, horrible people that you represent um, willing to apologize? Uh, and she can say, my people really love La Croix. Yeah. La Croix water. And we'll get. We'll bank on that, baby. Oh hell yeah, we'll uh, bank on it. All right. All the way to the bank, baby. Bank on the bank. Big banks hate little banks. Big banks hate little banks. We like any banks. If the banks have even $5 in them for us. Big banks hate little banks. In other words, don't give up on us, dude. Karina has not given up on us. Neither has her mom or her sister. They're not giving up on us. So don't, all the rest of y'all out there, don't give up on us. Don't give up on yourselves. Find that part within ourselves. In Buddhism, it's called, I mustered up a mind of great compassion. Mustering up. Mustering. Mustering. Mustering up. Mustering up. Compassion or resiliency. The compassion for us to go on and be stars, for us to make you guys laugh, to, to give you guys wisdom, all this wisdom that we have, and um, to share our world with you. That's compassion, and that's resilience. Same thing, in my opinion. It's also courage. Because we really do cry, dudes. We really do end up crying along the way. We really get hurt by... Uh, people around us who are really hurt by us that hurts us and yet we have to make fun of you because if we fucking don't make fun of you we're not comedians so and in the end we're always just making fun of ourselves it just looks like we're making fun of you don't take it so damn personally unless it's in a positive way oh man they love us so much that look at them picking on us relentlessly yeah, that's what I have to do. Meaning I have to look at it that way. And we have to pick on you relentlessly. Imagine that for a damn living. I'm going to pick on you relentlessly. Oh yeah, I know some people who are getting and earning a living off of that right now. Earning a living off of picking off my ass. Picking on my ass. But if they picked off your ass, you'd lose another, another cohort. Like grandma. Yeah. Or two. Big bank take little bank. I'm going to do some exercising while this plays. Got to get it twisted and moving to keep it. Use it or lose it. Take little bucks. Big bang, take little bucks. I don't want anyone to do this thing. That type of money got to make it bang. Charging. 
Oh, yeah. The thing. Hey, little thing. <laughs> Big thing. Hey, hey, little thing. I love it when they say that white bitch. I love it because I'm a bitch, white fella. What's the welfare, white papa? I mean, from two wealth, <laughs> two wealth, one welfare. Get it, white, white baba. Yep. She's weapon. Uh oh. I wish my grandma knew the voids, but she doesn't, so she ruins it in a way. I know, I need to learn. Stanko. I know Stanko. Dish Darren with doing, and uh, and we need to do literacy with Jody too. Okay. Some more of those, but we'll get some. We got lots of talking shit ones, that's for sure. And rap and roll, and we're on a roll with rapping and rolling. We we quit doing that um, geography with Jody and Darren too. We need to do that one. Yeah. That one was so cool. We need a globe. Yeah, we lost our globe. globe. We need a globe. We'll, we'll get, get a globe. globe. We'll get a little yeah. globe. Uh-huh. Okay, we're going to be back, dudes. Turn your frown upside down, dudes. Oh, I want to show them this. Uh, white truffle oil bottle. I can smell the white I know, it's, it's kind of stinky because it went rancid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my breath. It's the bottle. Show it, Grandma. Hope they don't have smell vision I hope they do. <laughs> if they're like me, they can smell it over the yeah. vision and everything else. 